Geeks and repair lovers welcome to another tech video from TechDep. In today's tech episode, we will show you how to tear down an Alienware R415 inch 2018 model. Let's begin the tear down, make sure you have your tools and accessories ready. And if you don't have one make sure to visit techdp.com and you will find all the tools and parts you may need for your tech projects. First make sure the unit is powered completely off. Using a Phillips screwdriver remove these screws on the bottom case. Note that the centermost rear screw is a captive screw and will not be removed from the casing. Slide the bottom case towards yourself and then pull up on the top to remove it. Now flipping the laptop over, on the back of the unit there are two screws. Here and here you must remove. Using a pry remove the rear housing by unlatching the clips located here. Remove these 12 screws to get ready for the next steps. Now let's separate the 2.5 inch drive tray from the unit by removing these four screws. Note one of the screws was missing from this unit already. And unplug the battery connector. Remember to bend it away from the connection point to avoid both ESD and accidental powering onto the unit. Remove the M.2 SSD screw and then the M.2 drive by pulling towards yourself. The Wi-Fi card is hidden under this cover. Be sure to remove it before removing the skeleton to avoid damaging the motherboard as well as the Wi-Fi card itself. Release the RAM by pushing outward or away from the RAM on the two retention clips. The RAM will pop up away from the motherboard if it is free. Unplug the LEDs that run on both sides of this unit from the motherboard located on either side. And remove the wire from the skeleton hold down points. Flip the laptop on its side. Using a pry open the gap between the skeleton and the top case. Then remove the skeleton. To remove the battery remove the screw holding it in. Then gently lift the unit out. Carefully open and remove the ribbon cables from their ports. Don't forget to remove the BIOS speaker connection. If you need any of the tools or parts shown in this teardown, all of the equipment shown in this video will be linked in the description below. Feel free to check out our large tool and part catalog on techdep.com for any and all of your tech needs. Next, 
disconnect the USB daughter board cable that runs under the motherboard. Then, remove the screws holding the motherboard and USB board in. Pulling up on the USB daughter board will remove it. Remove the BIOS speaker located here. And don't forget to unplug the speaker wire that runs to the front speakers on this unit. Remove the CPU and GPU fan screws as shown. Tilt the motherboard up. But do not remove it there are still connections on the other side of the motherboard tethering it to the top case. Removing the motherboard too far from the casing will result in either or damaged ribbon cables or damaged connections on the motherboard. First, release the cooling fan connectors from the motherboard located on either side of the board. Then, disconnect the LCD and various connections at the bottom of the board Note the far right one has a spring retention bar holding it in. So it will be the hardest connector to disconnect. Flip the motherboard over. And release the heat sink screws. Lift the cooler off. It may be tough, as the thermal paste and pads tend to act as adhesive. Using a pry, remove the charging port and cable. There is a lot of glue holding this one and so be careful as to not damage the cable. To remove the mouse buttons. Remove these screws. And this ribbon cable. The leftover PCB is the trackpad, which is not removable without damaging it on this unit. Remove these screws. Using a pry lift up the backplate and remove it. Also using a pry, lift up on the keyboard. Then slide it towards yourself to remove the unit. Finally, to remove the LCD and Wi-Fi assembly, remove these six screws here and lift the LCD off of the top case.
Thank you for watching. Your support is highly appreciated. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. With the help of our community, we will get you an answer. This wraps up our teardown video today. This teardown took about 35 minutes from start to completion.